Hello everyone, this is Lorraine from Card Creations and today I'm going to show you a card that I made uh, in a vintage style. This is not something that I usually do but I've been wanting to make a vintage style card and uh, I bought this neat stamp and it's a 5x6 large stamp at Michael's and uh, it had all the clocks on it. So I wanted to make a card that says it's time to get together and uh, what I did was I, when I stamped my image, I stamped it twice and then uh, with the extra piece I went ahead and cut some of the uh, clocks and uh, distressed it in a different shade than my background. I also uh, used pop dots on some of the clocks that I cut out and uh, made it dimensional. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then I used one of these um, what are they called? Uh, bottle caps that I purchased at Michael's and uh, this comes in all different colors and this one was the uh, silver one and I used my Copics and colored it brown. It worked real well. Now for the <clears throat> clock on the inside I just took one of the images from my second sheet and punched that out and uh, if you have a one inch punch it fits perfectly uh, into the bottle cap once you punch it out. Now for the sentiment I just used uh, the uh, my computer to generate the sentiment and then cut it out with one of my punches. And I also added some twine to the card because I didn't think just regular ribbon would uh, go with the card. So, and I'm just going to give you a few tips on how to make the bottle cap uh, clock. What you do is you can cut, uh, like I mentioned, you can cut your image from some cardstock or something that you stamp. And here's an example of two other ones that I did with uh, just a punch out from some cardstock with a design on it. And the way I attach the images is I, for, I use my glossy accents and I'll dab a little bit into the uh, bottle cap, add my image, and then flood the top uh, with an even coat. And it doesn't have to be really thick and it'll give it that glossy look and um, it'll adhere your image. You can also buy these round epoxy pieces which make it a little bit easier to um, add your image into the bottle cap. They're convenient but they're a little pricey. This was five dollars and I think you get I don't know, 15 of them. Well, let's see. This one says it's 25. So I must have hmm. Okay. Then maybe they're double stacked. I don't know. It says there's 25 but I only see 15. <laughs> okay. So there says it's $25, but uh, it was $5 for that. You can also purchase these uh, images that already have the epoxy and the image on it. And these I got at Archivers, and this is a little pricey also for the bottle caps. It, this was $5. So uh, using your Accents Essentials is a great way to go for an inexpensive uh, way of doing your bottle caps. So there we have today's card. that I wanted to share with you and I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit so you can get a better look. And there we have today's project. Thanks for watching.